Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I have to be laying in bed because this past week I have been so much worse than I normally am. From my brain compressing down, it makes me so nauseous every time I move my head and it gives me severe head and neck pain, even worse than I normally have it. I'm in a ton of pain, so I have to be in bed for these tutorials. I cannot even get out of bed anymore. Thank you guys for all your love and support and everything you do for me. It means a lot. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. Be Hopefully, you will be notified when I upload. Thank you guys for watching, and let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I have already primed my face and now I'm going to move on to foundation. So this is the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I got the lightest shade, which is Fair 05. And I found it interesting that it doesn't come with a like cover cap thing, but it does have a twist pump so it locks. This is definitely more liquidy than I thought it would be. So I'm going to just apply this to my face. difficult to blend out. Now that my face is looking brighter than my future, we're going to make it even brighter with a new concealer. The new concealer that I have is the Tarte Greaseless Concealer. And this concealer, I believe, already exists, but they just repackaged it. And I have personally never tried this concealer. The packaging is really cute. I really like the packaging. This feels very creamy and hydrating. The makeup is looking a little bit heavy. It is probably a combination of the foundation and concealer. For setting powder, I have the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Of course, I got it in the lightest shade, which is translucent. Like this is Lancome powder. And then this is the powder next to it. I will probably be sleeping in translucent powder tonight. I'm going to set my eyes as well. I'm going to take the new ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. And I got the shade Fair. So I'm tapping in. Just to refresh my face, I'm going to spray the... Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So for a new bronzer, I have the Natural Face Palette by Too Faced. So I'm going to take the shade Sunny Honey and just bronze up my face. Yeah. Yeah. This palette smells so good. Now I'm going to take an e.l.f. brush and just wipe away the rest of the baking powder. I mean, I'm not loving how this foundation is looking, but I feel like this would be really good for people with oily skin. For highlight, I have the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Highlighting Kit. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It is bigger than their normal highlight kits. I think I'm going to use the shade Magic, which is right here. Product gets all over. These are very glittery. So now I'm moving on to eyeshadow and I bought the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. And then here is the back. It has all the shades on it. And here's the inside of the palette. And then here is the back. As my transition shade, I'm going to go into this shade right here. So far, this shade is blending out really nicely. There is a bit of kick up, but I personally do not mind that. Next, I'm going to take the shade and pop it in my crease. I'm 
I'm going into the shade Still Shot right here. You do, you do get a lot of color on your brush. <laughs> back in with the transition shade and just blending out the edges i apologize that i don't have a lot of energy it's just i'm drained from all my pain i'm going to go into the shade right here and i'm going to put that in the outer v in a crease <laughs> into the shade called Punk. And I'm just going to put that in my outer V. I'm going to take the shade Radio. I'm going to take that shade right here. Put that on my outer part of my eyelid. The blue does have fallout. Now I'm going in with the shade right here. Now I'm taking my finger with this shade right here and just putting it on my inner lid. I'm mixing these two shades here and here and putting them on my lower lash line. the Stila Micro Tip Eyeliner. Now I'm going to be testing out a new mascara. So this is the Milk Kush Mascara. Sorry guys, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm super nauseous and my head is hurting really bad and my neck, it's getting worse. It's just unbearable, so. It looks like this mascara has little fibers in it. This is getting very clumpy on my lower lash line. I would personally recommend it for the top lashes, but just because it makes my lower lashes very clumpy. So I have new lashes from Euphoria by Jazzy. She is a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> I love these lashes because they're not too big. I have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Lip Trio. And these are the Nudie Patootie Liquid Matte Lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch all three of them. I really love the component that the liquid lipsticks are in. She custom made these and it has her emblem on the top. You can't really tell on camera, but it smells like fruity. <laughs> I think this is the shade that I'm going to wear. Here is the shade Topless. And then next we have Nakey Nakey. And here is the last shade called Jaybird. So let's go over my thoughts. So the foundation, I'm not a huge fan of just because my face looks cakey and heavy, but I think it will look better on people with oily skin. And then the concealer, I do like. It is nice. It's very creamy and hydrating, and I'm not really noticing any creasing, so that's good. I like the translucent powder a lot. I think it's really nice. It will work for pretty much every skin type, and... They do have different shades, so that's nice. And then the pressed powder, it's pretty lightweight, so that's good. And it made my face look nice. And then for the Too Faced Contour Kit, the bronzer and blush, I just used the bronzer out of it. I didn't use blush today. The Too Faced palette is very good. I really like it, and my bronzer looks good. Um, for the highlight, I'm not a huge fan. It's very glittery. I have glitter all over... I think it's pretty for like Coachella or some like a festival because it's like colorful highlights but it's not practical for an everyday makeup look. 
for the eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. It's really good. There was fallout, so you have to do your eyes first, or that's at least, at least what I suggest. But there are a lot of colors in here. There are warm tones, cool tones. You get a variety. I just wish that there was a matte white. For the mascara, I love it. It lengthened my lashes and it separated them nicely. I wouldn't recommend it on the lower lashes though. For the eyeliner, it was very easy to create a wing and I really like it. And I love that it's precise. For the um, lashes, these are probably one of my favorite pairs of lashes ever. They just, I love how they flare out. For the liquid lipsticks, it's matte like it dries matte they're really comfortable let's see if there's any transfer yep there is transfer but they're really comfortable and i mean they swatch streaking on the lips there aren't any streakiness though so this completes the video thank you guys so much for watching it really means a lot and i am doing a lot worse now i'm really struggling and this was honestly a struggle to do this video but you know i want to do what makes me happy and I really appreciate that you guys took time out of your day to watch this video. And please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. I'll have the giveaway winner down below. Thank you to everyone who entered. And thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for the prayers. I could really use them because I'm really struggling right now with my health. And I'm in so much pain. So thank you guys so much for everything you do for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.